Hello, this is Hannah Solo. And this is Nia, reporting for TNDN. Today, we're here to talk about the WPA, the Wigs for Pigs Act. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm getting a word that it's actually the Works Progress Administration. <laughs> for those not in the know, the Works Progress Administration put into place on April 8, 1935, by Democrat President Franklin D. Roosevelt, has been picking up speed. Well, Roosevelt does have a belief in larger government and giving money directly to the poor. The Works Progress Administration is part of Roosevelt's New Deal, a series of domestic programs. When organization was started, the Senate and the House majority were Democrat. There were 322 Democrats and 103 Republicans. This program was brought about because of the high unemployment rate of 24.9 in 1933. This program was supposed to employ millions of unemployed people, mostly unskilled men, to carry out public works projects, including the construction of public buildings and roads. On the opposition, Huey Long believes that Roosevelt is not doing enough for the poor. Martin Dodge Jr., a Democrat, is quoted, quoted saying, the WPA is a seedbed for communism. Republican Charles Coughlin excoriated Roosevelt as anti-God. People for the WPA include Jill Rob Wilson, an American pilot, Presbyterian minister, and military advocate. Had it not been for the Works Progress Administration, airport work, air traffic in the United States would have not been brought to a practical stop by the advent of the big ship. Well, the WPA obviously succeeded because the unemployment went from 24.9 in 1933 to 17.2 in 1939. Well, this is Hannah Solo signing off for TNDN Network. Have a nice day. Bye.